All right, so today we want to talk about loans. Now, this looks very similar to savings, and that's because loans are just the other side of things. When you save money, you put money into the bank. The bank is then loan, taking out a loan from you. So on the savings side of things, you save money, somebody else is really taking out a loan. And so you'd expect that the formulas and the essentially the variables would all be similar. So what we had up last time was I is interest, P is principal investment. What well, instead of being the principal investment, it's now going to be the principal loan. How much money do you take out of the bank? Nominal annual interest rate is the same. Number of years is the same. Amount accumulated is the same. Instead of having periodic deposits, you're not going to have periodic payments. You're paying off the loan. We have a new thing called EAR. That's the effective annual rate. Just like in savings, we don't get the exact interest rate that we would expect after a year because of the compounding. And so here, instead of having APY, we have EAR. And then for APR, that's the annual percentage rate. That is the actual interest rate, the nominal annual interest rate. APR is just another name for R. So this is really just R. So again, you'd expect, and last week we had a long video, so, or last time we had a long video, you'd expect the formulas to be the same. Simple interest, same formula. It's just in the loan world. So now the amount accumulated is not how much you've made, it's how much you now owe. Compound interest, same thing. EAR, it's the same thing as the APY, so you get the exact same type of formula. It's the actual amount of interest accumulated on your loan after a year. A equals PE to the RT, compound interest continu continuously compounded, same exact deal. The way that the questions get worded will be slightly different. Suppose you take out a loan for $1,000, interest rate is 3%. How much would you uh, after two years if you hold on to the $1,000 before you pay it back? Well, you take out a loan for $1,000, plug that in for P, 1000 Rate is uh, 3%, so plug that in for R. Compound, how often is it compounded? Maybe it's daily, so plug in 365. You're doing it maybe for two years, so plug in T equals 2. And so then therefore you're actually going to get this, this formula works out the exact same way that it is in savings. The biggest difference between savings and loans is this last big formula. So I want to kind of focus on that one. In this formula, you're looking at your periodic payment. So suppose you're paying off a loan with monthly payments. So then your interest and so your principal loan is how much money you take out. Your interest rate is the same. Now instead of having the MT, you have a negative MT. So you're trying to solve up for your periodic payments. And this makes sense. You know how much money the car might cost, and now you just need to figure out how much you're going to pay per month. So I want to run through an example of that one. But everything else is pretty much the exact same as before. So suppose you're going to buy a car. Suppose you want to take out $10,000. So what's the monthly payment? For a $10,000 loan, let's do it over five years. Compounded, let's say monthly. And this needs to match the monthly payment, monthly compounded, uh, with a nominal, um, well, APR, nominal annual interest rate or annual percentage rate of 2.9%. So you're going to plug into this formula. So your monthly payment is equal to 10000 multiplied by your rate, 0 0.029 in decimal, divided by the number of times you compound per year, 12, over 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.029 over 12, raised to the negative 12 times you're paying it off over 5 years. And so this is the calculation you need to make. So let's do that calculation. So here, I'm going to kind of work it out a little bit more. I got my 0 0.029 divided by 12, and I get 0 0.0024 1, 6 is repeating, And it's going to be multiplied by 10,000. And then I've got, I've got to add that to 1, same number right there. And so I get 1 minus 1.002416 is repeating. But this number has to be raised to the negative 60th power. 
And so you're going to do that in your calculator. Raise it to the negative 60th power, and you get 10,000 times 0 0.002416 repeating over 1 minus 0.865173622. So now you guys subtract that from 1, and you get 10,000 times 0.002416 is repeating divided by 0.13482637. Now you just have to divide those numbers and multiply by 10,000. And you get $179.24. So that's how you can get your monthly payment for loans. Now everything else in the loan world is the same thing as savings. It's just going to be worded a little bit differently. It's going to be worded things like, you take out a loan for $1,000 and you hold on to that money for five years. How much do you owe now if the interest rate is 4% compounded monthly? Or you take out a loan for $100,000 and the interest rate is 3% and you're going to pay it off over 30 years as compounded monthly with your monthly payment. Uh, things of that nature. And you just have to kind of associate whichever formula actually goes with that.